it's me Amy from Vagabond Youth. I'm gonna show you how I style my hair these days. A lot of you have been asking me on Twitter and Instagram. It's nothing special, so I'm just gonna show you anyways. This video isn't gonna be highly edited or a voiceover. I literally just sat down and talked with you guys and did my hair. Um, I hope you guys don't mind, but let's just get into it. I apologize if I look to the left a lot in this video. It's because I'm looking at the viewfinder and I don't know the lighting situation yet in my apartment, so I keep switching it on and off. See, I think that's okay. Hopefully that's okay. All right, so first things first, you wanna go ahead and use a heat protectant. This is from Tresemme, and I've been using this for about three to four years. I'm almost done with the bottle now. I lost the nozzle, so I just added a different one. Um, but you wanna go ahead and spray that all over your hair. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and comb through it. I do have bleached hair, so it's very important that I protect it. I'm also doing this on day one hair, meaning I just washed my hair probably about four hours ago in the morning. Honestly works best with day two or three hair, dirtier hair obviously. So this is what my hair naturally looks like when I get out of the shower, it's pin straight. So today I'm using the GHD Platinum Flat Iron. I alternate between using the two, a curling iron and a flat iron. I honestly think it gives you the same effect. It just depends on what I'm feeling that day and today I'm feeling this flat iron. So what I do is grab a piece of hair and then twirl it downwards and pull in so that the piece of hair that you're holding is down and then just run it through. And you'll get this little wave curl. And if you want looser waves, you could also just do it vertical, like this. See, it kind of gave more of a straighter wave. If I wanted to do a very tight curl or a tight wave, you grab it and then go that way, as opposed to this way. I do think it's best if you go from one direction to another, but that's your hair, so you, you do you, girl. <laughs> if you see someone's legs, it is indeed redeems. He's sitting on the couch next to me. My favorite thing about using a flat iron specifically is that it gives you more of a random mix of curls, whereas um, when you do it with a curling iron, it kind of looks so uniform and so perfect. Um, but this is definitely more kind of like natural. It's kind of more bedheady. So I think that's why I like to alternate between the two. And for more of a beachy look, you can totally leave the end straight. Um, but I'm gonna curl mine a little. So this is typically how I would like to wave my hair. Super straight and kind of loose. A really good tip if you're not familiar or good at using a flat iron is to practice this movement with the flat iron actually turned off. And then when you finally get the hang of it, you go ahead and just turn on your flat iron and then do it, so. When I get to the front of my head, I get this amount. And I'm actually gonna start it at the mid shaft. Is that what it's called? I'm gonna start at the middle. And I'm just gonna do the exact same thing. Ow, hot. <laughs> and then there we go. For me, I really like the bump that it gives when you curl it from the middle. So I really like to accentuate that by kind of just going over that over and over. So there we go. And just loosen it up. The thinner pieces that you use, the more control you have. Honestly, I have so much hair, sometimes I just wanna put in big chunks. Like now, like that's a really big chunk of hair. All right, home stretch. So get another piece and flip outward. Be careful when you do this. So then we're gonna turn this off. There's a little song for you. I forgot to mention that if you also need to kind of protect or restore your hair, the GHD Advanced Split End Therapy is really great. And you just apply a little bit of this product onto um, the clean towel dried ends of your hair and then you just go ahead and blow dry it and then style your hair as you normally would. 
So after your hair kind of looks like this, um, it's super, super curly. Since my hair is not day two, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this dry conditioner spray from Oscar Blondie and this is a dry shampoo. And I like this because it's for brunettes, I feel like, or maybe it's just a brown bottle, I'm not sure. But you basically just spray it to give you some volume. My hair is huge now. All right, so after that, just go ahead and rub it in. I'm gonna take some of this Herbivore Sea Mist, Lavender and Sea Salt Beach Wave Hair Mist, and this is from Urban Outfitters. Honestly, I just really love the way it smells. You can go without this. You don't really need it, but I'm gonna spray this in my hair, if it'll let me. Oh my God, it smells so good. And then I'm just gonna gently go through the waves that I did. You can stop here because honestly that's enough product as it is. But because my hair is bleached, I love using hair oils and I usually use a Moroccan argan oil or whatever. Um, this is a new me argan oil, a multi-purpose beauty oil. And I've had this for about, I don't know, three or four years when I first worked with them and it does the job. So it comes in this bottle and I just take out a generous amount because I have a lot of hair. And I just rub in my hands to heat up the oil and then I put it through my ends and it will just give you a really beautiful shine and make your hair also smell really good. Mm. And again, as the days go by or as the day goes by, your hair will start to loosen up and it will look really pretty. And like I said, I love wearing day two hairs. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to the Vagabond family. And if you want to catch me on Twitter and Instagram, it's Amy Vagabond with two Ds. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, babe. Yeah? Do you want to go to the beach? Sure. It's forever summer, right? <laughs>